So here we have two slides that have been taken down to water for the purpose of staining with the PAS method. So the P, of course, stands for periodic acid. That's an oxidizing agent. And we'll be applying that to a section of liver and to a section of kidney. So quite different in terms of what we expect to see. Just give these a bit of a rinse with the ionized water. It's less critical at this point, but since there are chemical reactions taking place, it doesn't hurt to have um, something fairly clean on the, on the slide. So just flick that off. And then take our periodic acid. Now the length of time that we need, it does differ depending upon what we're staining. For something like liver, where we may have glycogen, about 10 minutes is sufficient. And for kidney, we're mainly looking at basement membranes, so we'd need to give that a bit longer, um, up to about 20 minutes. But just for the purpose, I think, of this demonstration, for both this one and the other one, I think we'll give that about 15 minutes. So basically, while the periodic acid is being applied, it's oxidizing those 1-2 glycol groups on the, um, the, the glycoproteins and the, the glycogen, in the case of liver, to the dialdehyde group. So after the 15 minutes in this case, we rinse off um, the periodic acid. Now it is good or best practice here to give those slides a good rinse in the water bath, but just to speed things up here, I'm just giving it a, a really good rinse in deionized water. Okay, so the periodic acid's been washed off. Then the second step is the Schiff's reagent. And again, um, normally we'd leave this on for about 10 minutes in the case of staining glycogen and a bit longer, say up to 20 to 30 minutes for basement membranes. So we'll, we'll aim for about 15 minutes on, on both of these slides. Now you notice that both of these first solutions that have gone on are essentially colourless. Um, in the case of the Schiff's reagent, it does, doesn't really have any colour until it binds, as you can see here, with the dialdehyde groups. And then with the presence of water on the slide, um, there's a sulfonic acid group that's very unstable after binding, and so you can start to see a little bit of colour change over time, but not very much at the moment. Now after 10 to 20 minutes, it's 15 minutes in this case, you can actually see a bit more of a colour change at this point, but it's still not really fully complete. So this is the essential final step, I guess, in the actual PAS staining procedure, is to rinse those slides well in water. So as you see here in the animation, as that sulfonic acid group is released, that's what brings out the, the full colour as more of the sulfonic acid is released. And so you really can um, leave those slides, see the rinsing, say with the, with the tap running like this, um, or just with some, with some agitation for at least a good five minutes. Once you've done that, then you really should by now start to see a fairly definite change, even for something like um, a kidney, where it's essentially just basement membranes, you should be able to see just some slight change in the, in the color of the um, tissue. And uh, the final step here is we, we are applying uh, Mayers, and we're going to use this progressively. And I'll see if I can check my watch, but actually <laughs> on second thought, I'm better off just counting this up to about 20 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's about 20. <laughs> so that's usually about right. Now, if we've overstained, we could attempt to differentiate in a bit of acid alcohol, but I've found from practice that about 20 seconds is about right, and of course we need to blue in the ammonia. That's essential to bring out the, the right color. So as for doing uh, H&E stains, it's good to use microscope control. I haven't bothered to do it for the PAS 
step because I could see there was some colour reaction taking place, even macroscopically. But certainly if I didn't see much of any change, you can see there, there's, that's the combination of the pink and the, and the blue from the hematoxin. But if we just take this first slide over now and have a bit of a look. This is the one of the uh, kidney. And there we go. So we can see there's some really nice magenta coloured basement membranes. Probably could have cut this section a little bit thinner to get more detail there. And within the glomerulus there, there's quite intense staining of the basement membranes. So that's clearly reacted with the PAS. And in terms of the nucleus staining, it looks pretty good. If we look at some of these tubules here and those nuclei, they look quite clear and distinct. If you overstain, the cytoplasm can start to look a bit blue as well. But that looks to be just about right. And then from there, it's simply a case of dehydrating and clearing your slides. Um, but uh, different to the H&E, you may recall, we went straight to the 90. Um, but because these are essentially in water, we do need to begin um, with the 70. I'll just put the mayors away. So to begin the dehydration process, the principles are the same. It's been in water, so we should go straight to the 70. Um, the, both of the stains that are applied there are very stable, um, so you really can't overdo the alcohol treatment at this stage. It could stay in the 70. There's a bit of ears in there, as you can see. That's not really a, a big deal. That's left over from doing some H&Es, but it's pretty dilute, and that's not really uh, much of a concern. You could change it um, if you've done more slides, but that level of contamination is fine. So bring this first one through, it's been sitting in the 70. Then we'll do our usual rinse the forceps, rinse the slide, agitating it up and down. Or you could leave it a full minute if you chose to. Bit of a dab on the side and then go to the first of the absolute alcohols. Might as well transfer the next one over here too. So it's not as time critical except for making sure that you really do rinse the slides well, but you can't overdo it. So that's the difference between um, taking these slides through and say, taking slides through after ears and. So just let that one sit there and grab the first one again, rinsing the forceps as we go, bit of a tap, and then through to the next, and that's the higher alcohol level that we use there just to really make sure the slide is thoroughly rinsed. Bit of a tap on the side, don't want too much alcohol coming through and just plonk that in there and that's all good. And the next one, again, rinse off what's there, or sure, just tip it off I should say, and then into the final absolute alcohol. Again, bit of drainage and then through to the xylene. So let that sit for about a minute and then you can transfer it to the final xylene and then it's ready to be a cover slip.